I decided to stay home to clean up after Christopher's 18th birthday party. He had just bought his new car, so he was very excited to be able to drive to work on his own. When Christopher finished school, he started his first year apprentice in form work. First thing in the morning, I would provide coffee to the workers with my coffee van where he'd actually work. It was about a year and a half that I spent quality time with my son because we were together nearly every day. I was sitting in front of the computer doing some work. A friend of ours gave me a call and told me that there's been a tragic accident at the job site, so I left straight away as soon as I heard. When I got to the site, it was panic. There's police everywhere, ambulance. Nobody was saying anything to me. I started running, but then I couldn't run anymore, so someone picked me up and put me in a car and drove me up. At that stage, nobody knew that Christopher had passed away already. Safety is everyone's responsibility. I believe Christopher wouldn't want anyone else to die the way he died. It was an unnecessary death that was also very avoidable. As a worker, you go on site and if you have a gut feeling that something's wrong, don't continue. You, you need to stop and alert someone to let them know that there is a dangerous situation here.